What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now in this video, we're going to be jumping into Children of the Atom issue number 3. And if you haven't been keeping up with this line, don't worry, I got you covered. Go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on in the Children of Adam line. Now, this is written by Vida Ala. Pencils are Paco Medina and cover is RB Silva. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. All right, guys. So what we've been seeing from the Children of Adam issues is kind of origin stories for all of our heroes or for all of the children. The new vigilantes that are they're kind of picking up the X-Men mantle as all of the mutants have gone to Krakoa. And so this issue picks us up with Carmen Maria Cruz. You know, and Carmen, she's always wanted, she's always wanted to be special, to be someone's favorite. You know, there are plenty of people who appreciate her. And, and she's very grateful for that. But people, they really only like her for her cosplay or pattern tutorials, or at least that's how she feels. She feels like that people care more about what, what they can do for her than who she is. You know, people love her positive attitude all the time, but at the end of the day, it really seems like Carmen, it really seems like she's fighting depression. Depression mixed with a, a lot of other issues that come with being a teenager, that come with being a human being, you know, feeling as of, of inadequacy, feeling like you're just not good enough, feeling like you just won't amount to anything if you're not doing exactly what those around you expect you to be doing. You know, at times, all this, all this attention she gets from all of the things she does, sometimes it makes her feel special, you know, because at the end of the day, you're like, her mom depends on her to t help her take care of the kids. Her dad depends on her. Her friends depend on her. Everybody is dependent on her, but she really wants someone to, to think of her as, as something special, something beautiful, like a piece of artwork. She wants someone to smile when they hear her voice or see her picture. She wants somebody that would do something for her and not expect any kind of anything in return. You know, and, and she's not trying to be ungrateful. She knows that her family loves her. But at the end of the day, she doesn't feel like she's anybody's favorite. She feels like she's got to say yes to whatever they want for them to even remember she exists. You know, she knows that her friends love her, but she always feels scared like they'll think less of her if she's not sewing costumes or throwing some kind of needle. At the end of the day, she truly feels like she is just the weakest link. Like she has to make up for that by doing extra work to kind of earn her place. But it doesn't stop her from wondering. Wondering if she were to stop, if she were to stop doing everything that she's doing, if she were to stop it all, would everybody still love her the same? Would anybody still care? Now this is where it kind of throws us for a loop. It throws us to a past scenario. A past scenario where our five kids, they're quickly leaving Earth's orbit. Somehow they ended up on, on an alien spaceship. And sitting in the, in the cockpit, they realize like just how screwed they are. Like they don't know what to do. They start pressing buttons. And that was absolutely the worst idea. They start pressing buttons. Benny specifically starts pressing buttons. And that's what sends alarms going off. And thrusters go off as well. And Carmen sitting there, she's just like, this is it. Like, this is, we're done. Game over, man. Game over. Like, we're, we're dead in the water here. There's no way we can get out of this situation. And this is when the system lets them know that the atmosphere is going to be completely vented in five minutes. So they have five minutes to be able to get off of this ship. Not only that, but it seems like one of the engines just blew, so it looks like they're going to be screwed. Now Cyclops last, she swears that she saw some kind of weird pods when they were getting on board. Maybe it was a way for them to escape. Maybe it was escape pods. And as they're making their way to the escape pods, there's a giant explosion. And this explosion, it sends Cyclops last flying in the opposite direction. Now, she looks pretty beat up at this point. She looks a little bit rough. You know, she just got thrown into a wall. And Carmen, absolutely terrified, running over to try to see if she's okay. Now, this is where we're taken to present day. 
and in present day, Cherub and Cyclops, they've shown in, shown up at Carmen's house. They've shown up to try to get her to go out, and she just really doesn't want to go anywhere. You know, they, they have an invitation to a friend's house, a friend of Cherub that he hasn't seen in a long time, and they want to kind of just inv invite some people over. You know, he's been going through a lot, and so they think he maybe he could use some help. He could use some friendly, friendly advice, and they heard that maybe there could be a, an off possibility that he, he became a mutant. They think this because he got sick, and being sick is technically a sign of, of a mutation coming to fruition. But Carmen, she really, she doesn't want to do this. She doesn't want to go anywhere. She doesn't want to do anything. You know, she's still struggling with the fact that she's in love with Cyclops Lash. She really wants to be in a relationship with her, but she can't. And she knows she can't. And it eats away at her every single day. Now, picking back up on the alien ship in the past, we have all of the kids making their way to the to the evacuation pods and everyone's getting buckled in everyone is getting into their seats as fast as possible and we see carmen and we see cyclops lass they're buckled in right next to each other and their plot their pod it jettisons off and it jettisons them all the way down to earth they're making their descent terrified that they're not going to live this ordeal and they sit there and they hold hands for a brief second and carmen finally finally expresses her emotions lets her know tell cyclops lass that she loves her but cyclops lass was unable to hear her and we see the the escape pods breaking through the earth's atmosphere come jettisoning down onto earth crash landing into some wooded area now picking back up in present day cherub benny and cyclops lass have all come to their friend's house all come to his house to kind of have dinner now they're all sitting down at dinner and this is when they're introduced to a, a an arthur nagan they call him a family friend but he seems like a very shady individual these kids are, are very suspect of who he might be but they all agree to sit down and have some dinner and they start they start sitting down and eating and their friend's father lets them know what's been going on with him because it, you know, their friend's been under the weather, weather for some, quite some time now. And come to find out that this family friend that they have over, he works in genetics. And what they've been doing is, is splicing mutant DNA into human DNA. And now they're calling this the next step in, in human evolution. And they're trying to portray this as some grand thing for all of mankind. But really, what I see, I see an individual trying to splice mutant DNA into them so that humans will be able to go into Krakoa. That's what I'm seeing. And so, you know, the children of the Atom, they're kind of questioning this. You know, their friend Cole, they might think he's a mutant now. So there's a possibility that he could get into the Krakoan gates. And they kind of bring this up to him. And Cole, he, he's very standoffish. He's like, you know, you guys, I've heard a lot about what you guys have been doing trying to get into the Kokoa Gates and that you guys are just infatuated with this place. And I feel like you guys just came to this dinner so you could try to get into Kokoa and go play around. Now, this wasn't their intent. They truly did care about their friend. They also just, they were just very intrigued. The idea of being able to go in Kokoa by simply having some kind of science experiment go on it seems like a very awesome possibility for them but cole he's not looking well he's looking very unhealthy up to this point you know he's sweating a lot he looks under the weather and now he's he's really mad and so he tells them like you guys need to go like if the only reason you came here was to ask me to take you to krakoa you can just leave and they try to explain themselves, but he doesn't want to hear it. He's just not listening to anything they have to say. Now, this is where we see Carmen. And there's something happening to Carmen. She's becoming special. She's becoming unique because she's transforming in some way. She's looking like some kind of werewolf almost. Now, we don't know exactly what is happening to her. And we're definitely going to be finding out in the next issue. But it looks like she's having her mutation. It looks like the X gene may have actually kicked in. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, I, th these issues are alright. They're not my favorite thing coming from X-Men right now. But they're, they're sufficient. I'm kind of hoping that it really does tie in a little bit later on. You know, I'm really having a feeling that these kids are going to have a lot to do with the humans trying to break into Krakoa. Trying to send spies in and so on and so forth. And these kids... 
you know, maybe they're going to be used as Trojan horses, or maybe, maybe these kids are going to stop the humans from being able to do any kind of, of harm to mutant kind. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you don't miss any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next video.